okay and then there was one um, the one piece is the only piece that I have not yet cast for this first version of my digits in the box um, elemental digits in the box uh, most recently I just finished the cadmium piece which came out extraordinarily well um, a slight uh, defect on the lowercase d and the cd symbol when I was uh, wire brushing it that little piece on the inside of the d popped out I'll have to be uh, more careful a similar thing happened on uh, bismuth uh, in the b um, but overall uh, the casting of cadmium went very very well you'll notice I also recast the indium I had said I probably would do that and I did I fixed the, the lettering on it and there, there's no longer the defect on the back um, I did one more slight tweak since I uh, recast these two pieces which I'm going to carry over when I do a second set of these this is just kind of the first set proof of concept prototype I'm going to do a second set to try to make all the pieces uniform with all the final tweaks of everything I've learned and the latest thing I did was I actually increased the tolerance a bit um, on the first pieces I was building a, a tolerance of uh, 0.2 millimeters on each side um, and I found that wasn't quite enough that the pieces were a little too tight and I was having to do a bit too much finishing work I increased that tolerance to 0.3 millimeters uh, that's in, in both sides of uh, a piece so actually that would shrink each column or, or each cube by a fifth of a millimeter 0.2 because it's I picked up 0.1 on each side anyway um, and that allows the pieces to interlock much more easily this cadmium piece I did no finishing other than some brushwork to clean off the oxidation uh, no brushwork and it perfectly fits in to the eight piece even the copper piece which has been troublesome um, it's kind of the tightest piece the copper is the hardest metal and it's a lot to file down but this piece fits in perfectly and the new indium piece indium was such a, a tough piece in the past right out of the mold it fits into both of these pieces very well so just by increasing that tolerance a bit to give a little more leeway um, that has helped a lot I'm also in the second version actually going to increase the length of the pieces a bit um, so that they're so lengthwise they're about a millimeter taller total I think oh, well then we're going to take away some from the tolerance anyway um, uh, just to make a slightly tighter fit um, I'm building a, a box to put all of these in and, and I had a little bit more room to play with so I thought I'd add just a little bit to it but overall uh, these pieces are going quite well it's really been an exercise that's been teaching me patience uh, the, the molds at the end I'm having no trouble creating the plaster molds I just have to give them plenty of time to fire out the plastic at a nice uh, relatively low temperature in a charcoal fire for about an hour and a half uh, one final thing I've talked on and on about the softness of indium uh, this final indium piece uh, finally has a good finish I didn't have to do any buffing or anything when I cut off the sprues I very carefully did that with a hacksaw I learned that instead of filing the pieces taking a file to it or sandpaper or anything like that I literally just took a utility knife with an, a razor blade in it and cut just shaved the indium off it's like a really thick clay um, I'm not sure indium it's probably my least favorite metal it's just too soft we'll see how it goes I'm actually in the second version going to experiment with using selenium selenium uh, which is even more expensive and is technically not even a metalloid I think it's considered a non-metal it is uh, it, it, it can break almost glass like but I think it is castable and I, so I've got some on order and I'm gonna cast a seven piece out of selenium at the slightly bigger size with <coughs> excuse me the different tolerance and I may use that for my second set so again a really good experiment learning about all the elements 
I've got the silver ordered for the number one piece. Uh, it should show up later this week. Hopefully that will go without a hitch because certainly the silver isn't cheap. I've actually ordered enough to hopefully cast at least two pieces, two number one pieces. And with that, that will be the final thing. And I will do one more video after that talking about all the pieces and then summarizing, talking about some of the metals that I wish I could have used, <coughs> excuse me, wish I could have used and why I didn't.